Yes, now there is one spider that has been all over the papers and the web recently. Oh, nice. Had to do that. Uh, it's, the, it's the false widow. Now, this has been causing panic across the UK. Several people claim to have had nasty bites from it. But the good news is that we have checked with our arachnid experts and they say that they've been in Britain for 100 years and the bite is very rare. It's all fine. But George McGavin thinks that there's another spider you need to keep an eye out for. Not because it's dangerous, but because it's Britain's eight-legged Rebecca Adlington. The UK is home to around 650 different species of spider, but only one makes its home where I'm headed. Long before human beings invented scuba diving, the water spider had already mastered the technique. By taking its own air supply under the surface, this remarkable animal is the only spider in the world to live almost its entire life underwater. To create its diving tank, it first spins an underwater web. It then visits the surface of the water to collect small air bubbles on the hairs of its body. Pulling the bubbles down, it releases them into the web, essentially inflating its underwater house. By living underwater, it can avoid predators like birds, a terrestrial spider's biggest threat. Ecologist Graham Lyons works on the Pevensey levels. How common are these spiders? I think the book's put it down as uh, widespread, um, really only in suitable habitat. And this is as close to the perfect habitat as you can get. What makes it so good? Well, these ditches are full of um, lots of different types of plants and produce lots of different structure under the water. And that's just the sort of thing that the water spider needs. And they're full of invertebrates as well. So there's plenty for the spiders to eat. I want to see the spider's air tank for myself, but with the habitat dense with vegetation and measuring just one centimetre in size, to see it up close, we're going to have to catch one. So, uh, if we try and get it in underneath the um, water soldier here, like this. So you can't sweep from the outside, it's a sort of, no. it's a, a digging act, isn't it? Yeah, I'll have a go like this. This is the bit I love. Can you <sighs> empty it out and see what you've got? All right. You just have to sort of open the vegetation up a bit and they tend to... Oh, wow! What's that? There is a water scorpion. Oh, wow! Those legs. But that's not all we're after, is it? No. Oh, there's a leech there as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just a few dips, and there are literally thousands of individual things in here. <laughs> and that's what makes it such a good habitat for a hunting carnivore like a water spider. Oh, look, there's one, there's one. You got it. Wow! There's that's a water that. spider. Look at that, it's not a beauty. You can see the, the abdomen it looks a so greyish brown, but it's got a velvety covering of very short hairs, which sort of gives it that sort of sheen. Well, out of the water, it may look rather dull and boring, but if I can get this into a tank, it'll be transformed and we'll be able to see just how beautiful it really is vegetation and prey ready in a tank and our macro cameraman set up. Time to release it. Wow. Look at that. Amazing. Immediately it's transformed from this dullish grey spider to this quicksilver coloured mercury like sheen. And that, that's the air layer that's trapped on those hairs. So it's just beautiful. Oh no, there. It's at the oh. surface. Her abdomen's right up. She's taken some air on and she's back down. Wow, I've never seen that before. It could take up to two days for this spider to start weaving its air trapping web. But Graham captured another spider last week and this one has already built its bubble. A little air home right under the surface. Unlike most spiders, its web plays no part in capturing prey. Its sole purpose is to maintain the spider's underwater air supply. Makes you think how dense that web has to be in order to trap air. Oh, oh it's coming, oh. it's coming close, it's coming close. Is it going to go in? It... Oh yes, it's in. It's in. Oh wow. Abdomen first. The actual structure of the bell itself acts like a gill, so oxygen is absorbed into it and as the, as the carbon dioxide produced by the spider, it'll diffuse out. So technically, they don't have to go up wow. all that often. This means the spider only has to return to the surface roughly every 24 hours. 
these spiders are truly unique. They're the only spiders in the world to spend almost their entire lives underwater. They mate underwater, they lay eggs underwater, they feed underwater. And they could be in a pond or a ditch somewhere near you. <laughs> that is it's just remarkable. It's a whole life underwater. Part's not obviously coming up for air, but uh, anyway, uh, Andrew, last time you were on, you